want to go this way. Oh, great. <laughs> You're showing me graffiti art? Yeah, cool, right? Wow, hey. Yeah, cool. My name's Natasha, and I like meth and heroin and weed. Sometimes I do a little bit of crack. Natasha, as a child, was very happy, loving running around with her brother, the typical little girl, camping, fishing, hunting, uh, hiking. Wayne and I were married. He was a disciplinary, and I was um, the, the mother, the motherly figure, I guess. So I just let him be the iron fist. When he spoke, the kids listened, and I was the mediator in between, right? My mom and my dad always fought about how to raise us. My dad was really strict, and my mom wasn't. My dad didn't even want my mom to smoke or anything. She did drink and smoke a little bit, but he hates it. I just couldn't tolerate it and ended our relationship. Like, I know it definitely like broke our hearts. Like, it was definitely hard. She missed getting to see her dad. Tasha, she missed her dad more so because she didn't like her stepdad. She came up to live with me in 2008. When she lived with me, she uh, was into school sports. I used to do hockey and soccer, and I was really interested. They were a lot of fun together. We had um, several parties. We had lots of people over that people did all kinds of drugs. At the parties, her parents would lock their bedroom, and Tasha was always on kind of the rebellious side, so she would break in and snoop around. You know, eventually she just found uh, a big bag of what looked like white, brownish powder. That was the first time I ever did MGMA, because like I found it in my mom's drawer, and I put like cap like full capsules. We stole a lot of ecstasy, MDMA, mushrooms, stuff like that. Her and her stepdad still didn't get along very well. They would fight constantly, and that made her not get along with her mom. I felt alone, right? And I was getting more love from my drug friends than I was my family. When my husband died, it, uh, it was sudden. Tasha was an addict still, and she was high. She was so psychotic, she was doing so much math. Her little face was picked so badly. Um, she even thought that we faked the funeral. And we were all just trying to help her through it. And she kicked my dog um, and right across the room. And she hit the brick wall and ran. So I just grabbed my daughter, took her to the hospital, and they um, put her in um, the psych ward for a month. My cousin came to me and said, Linda, go to Thailand. There's this place called Phuket. Take Tasha, go. So we went to this place for three months, and we did a 21-day detox. And she was vibrant and alive, and she was Tasha again, ready to be Tash. And um, she came home, and it was about a month, and then she started to relapse and do it again. I don't like doing drugs, but like, it's, a, it's hard not to, and it's hard. Like, I don't know, and it makes me really mad that I am doing drugs. She steals. She stole a pair of blue jeans and um, was apprehended. She bit the security guard um, and was charged with assault and theft. It's pretty bleak. I came home on Friday. She was on the floor like a raggedy and doll, face down. She was clearly unconscious. Where's your jacket, honey? Where's the bike? I grab the bike, Mom. That's a lot of interrogations. Well, it's an expensive bike to just be leaving at Crackhead's place. Not a crackhead, Mom. Well, what are you then? A heroin addict? Huh? What is it you use? I don't know. What are you? OK, what are we going to do? Eat breakfast? You like smoke smoke have smoking. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just going nuts. Like, I'm going to snap. I'm sorry, but it's just... Why, why do you keep threading that you're going to snap? What are you going to snap about? It's just like, don't sit there stare at me panting with the dog. Obviously, you know it annoys me. What? I'm sure it annoys the f*** out of you, so why sit there and like... It's... And I can't take it. I'm not staring at you. I can't take it. It makes me want to snap. 
Snap or use? Snap. When's the last time you used? Yesterday, last night, Mom. And how long will this last? Mom, it's because I want to use that I'm going nuts. That's why. I can't take it. I, like, it makes me mental. I'm sorry you that way. Some people say to kick her out and just do tough love, but I'm just not ready for that. That was a really good breakfast, thank you.